Hello Virgo, this is your October 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Virgos. Hoping to reach a majority, as I say all the time. Hopefully it'll be a positive reading for October. This is for Virgo, 2018, October, full Celtic cross. Virgo, full Celtic cross, October, 2018. I'm looking for a positive reading. I try to go for them. I do concentrate on your sign as I am shuffling prior to this. I meditate on Virgo. See what the incoming energies are. Prince of Swords. Who did I get that for? I got that for another, what was it, Leo? It was one of them. I think it may have been Cancer. I'm not sure. But the Prince of Prince of Swords, excuse me, is coming in as a beginning energy. They are in the upright. It could be an air energy or someone taking out on that energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or, or uh, Libra. Love. Love is on the table. Virgo. Possibly a love situation is a subject at hand. What's crossing it is telling it to somebody or someone wanting to tell it to you. Maybe the words aren't coming out right. Maybe they said it the wrong way. Maybe they're talking to somebody and their words just cut instead of entice you know your goal is hope the star card nothing wrong with that sometimes it's a wish it's a manifestation of a wish possibly foundation you weren't feeling like you were getting your happily ever after so you may be thinking about that with this love situation you got high hopes in the past you kind of kept to yourself virgo you were being yourself you were keeping to yourself you were contemplating thinking about life in general. In the near future, the lover's in reverse. You may not go forward with it because you don't know how to say it, or they may, the person that's trying to come towards you in a way may have trouble telling you. So in the first couple weeks of October, they may not be able to express that. I have to clarify to know for sure. Now this is the future outcome, the distant, more of the distant outcome and what is coming towards you, and I will clarify them later. I'd like to get to this first. Move all these over so everybody can see it for once. Let's see what we got here. Clarifying cards. Now we got the love card, the two of cups. What's crossing it is the ace of swords. Why are you there for Virgo? Why, what's going on with Virgo that the sword is crossing their love card? Virgo. Someone got their heart broke. Maybe that's why they're afraid to approach somebody. They've been hurt before. Could also be that there is a third party situation involved or just sorrow. They're just sad. Page of Wands could have to do with a fire sign or a passionate message they want to want to. Uh, deliver because the page of wands is also a, a deliverer of messages of passionate messages they are in an upright but I see someone being afraid of taking a chance with the page of wands and the three of swords next to it now the goal is hope you have high hopes you're wishing upon a star so the star card why are you there for Virgo Because you want to come out of a nightmare situation, you're tired of the, the drudge and the depression and the worry, the mental worry. Can I get another card for the star card and the nine of swords? The nine of swords is the why you're hoping. Because you had just a negative situation, now you want something positive. So why are you there for Virgo? Knight of Pentacles, you know it'll go slow, but you're willing to go that mile to do it with the Knight of Pentacles is in the upright. It is. It shows it happening. It shows you're able to achieve this, but it will take time. You know it's going to take time, too. You already know that. Now, the foundation is the Ten of Cups in reverse. You're feeling like you're not having your happily ever after. That's the whole foundation this is built upon. Not feeling like you got your happily ever after card. So, Ten of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Virgo? Losing strength, losing the energy, losing the drive. 
Knight of Swords could have to do with the Knight of Swords. That's in reverse. Now, remember, you had that Swords energy coming towards you that was in the upright, but the foundation at hand, it shows them they're not in the upright. It shows them argumentative, short-tempered, cutting like a knife with their words. And the Knight of Swords can be air energy, as you know. I said that before. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Now, in the past, you have the Hermit card. It is in the upright. It's... Uh, contemplating to yourself, thinking to yourself, planning out things, what you want in life. You're not really expressing yourself to others. You're keeping kind of to yourself. You're in the upright, so it's positive thoughts you're trying to bring to yourself. You need this, you needed this quiet time in the past, but the hermit card, why are you there in the past? Queen of Swords, you got a lot of swords energy, a lot of air energy around you in the upright. This person in the upright in the past, maybe they were the hermit, but it shows them in the upright. They're intelligent. They know how to, to talk to people. They Everybody likes them usually because their conversations just flow. But the Queen of Swords is with the hermit card. Why are you there? Maybe you're thinking upon this Queen of Swords. Why are you there? Because you want a new beginning, but you're just thinking about it. You're not doing it. You're just, it's like your thoughts are what you want to do in the future. In the past, you're doing this. You're thinking about the future of a new beginning, possibly with the air energy, or you're going to take on this energy and go for it in the future. You're thinking on it, though. Now, in the near future, you got the lovers. It's in reverse. So some of you may not want to are not able to express what you want to a lover or they're not able to express it to you. I don't know for sure. I got to clarify to find out. But the lovers is in reverse for the first couple of weeks in October, or the first part of October usually. I am going to give another reading. Uh, the lovers in reverse. Why are you there? Near future for Virgo. Because you felt a little betrayed. You're not trusting love or someone that you that you like is not trusting love. So I don't think they're exactly rejecting, rejecting you. I just don't think they're taking love offers because of betrayal, because they don't trust it. You're going to have to convince them if, that, if you're trying to woo somebody else. Um, if they're trying to woo you, they may have to take a little longer in waiting. Could be... Yeah, it's because it's like you're not allowing love to come in because of a betrayal of a possible marriage that went bad, that a divorce possibly, or, or a relationship that you broke up with somebody with. You have too much heartbreak in, in things that did not work out. So you may not be accepting it right now. You still got that heart, three swords pierced in your heart, and love is there, but you may not be accepting it for some reason. You do have hopes. You are hoping, but you're thinking you're going to take it slow with that Knight of Pentacles. You know it's going to go slow. Now, uh, this is a possible future outcome. It's also the advice from the universe, possibly. We, I don't know until I go further in the reading, but we got a Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups could be a water energy. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in the upright. That all, that's all it tells me is that it's the Queen of Cups. I need to clarify. Queen of Cups, why are you there for Virgo in October 2018? This tells me a King of Pentacles. Could be the advice card telling you that there's a Queen of Cups energy that's out there that'll be positive for you. But there's also a Knight of Pentacles that may not be so positive. So it may be telling you to choose wisely that you got two different options here. Still not telling me nothing. Just tell me people are there. Maybe a little big competition between two different people aiming for you, Virgo. Or may, there's some kind of competition going on with the uh, Five of Wands, some type of strife. Could be someone may get an art, two different people may argue over you. Or you may argue someone up with somebody else over a different third party. It could go either way. It'll be different. Remember, I'm reading for a lot of Virgos here. What is coming towards you is someone's not done yet. They're not finished. They're still doing something. They haven't completed a task yet. So Four of Wands in reverse. So what is this four of wands in reverse for Virgo coming towards them as the outside environment? Someone's not quite done yet. 
the emperor and the upright. The emperor and the upright is could be an Aries, or it could be someone who just likes control in their life. They judge things well, and, and they don't exactly sway from their decisions. But right now, they haven't decided 100% what they're going to do. Give me another card for the four of wands with the emperor. Clarifying. Because they're still weighing their options. You may know who this person is or the situation. You can leave it in the comments for more clarity. But this person is not deciding yet what they want 100%. But when they do, they will make a decision. But they're also weighing options because they don't like just to take anything. They want a positive outcome. They want a positive thing in their life, so they haven't made a decision. I do not know who this is for you, but it would be different for everybody. Like I said, leave it in the comments. Now, your hopes and fears is that you won't gain a victory. You won't gain what you want. Your, your fear in this. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse for Virgo and their hopes and fears? It's all a mental type energy. It's what's in your head, what you're thinking at times, what you're worrying about at times. This has got to be your fear. You're afraid of unhappiness and not getting a victory. Your hope is to get it. You know it's slow coming, but it's going to get there. I do believe it will somewhat. Let's see. I need a final outcome to say for sure, though. Let me get another card for the victory card and the Nine of Cups. Both in reverse of your fears. You're afraid of love. You're afraid of the, you won't get a victory in love. You've been hurt in the past. A lot of hurts in the past. Outcome for Virgo, a tower moment. You're gonna you're gonna hear something, Virgo. You got a tower situation coming, where something you will hear something that will leave you changed. It will not. It will be a surprise. Let's see if I can crack that code here. The tower. Why are you there? As the outcome for Virgo. Because someone may come forward with a possible love offer. You weren't expecting it. Has something to do with a friendship offer. Maybe I'm thinking you're not expecting something from somebody, a message that had to do with love. Now, sometimes the tower, oftentimes I don't like the tower card. It's a negative card to me. But sometimes when another card attached to it is positive, it could be a positive energy that you weren't expecting, you know, a surprise. So I need another card for the tower with the page of cups coming towards it. As you can see, the Page of Cup is walking towards the tower. So it definitely has something to do with someone offering you a cup of friendship, love, uh, anything like that. And it doesn't have to be just a relationship. It could be job. It could be family. You don't know. Uh, the tower, the Page of Cups, why are you there? Why, are you, why is this for Virgo? The Hope card, the Star card, looks like you're getting a wish. It's going to surprise the hell out of you. Sometimes, well, late, this is the, the distant future outcome. This is a near future. Remember, distant outcome. Something's going to shock you in the distant. A little bit past October, I'm thinking. Let's see if I got a lot of fire energy. I think it'll be slow coming still. Because it may not happen in October, past October, the final, final, final outcome. But you do have a wish or something you hope for coming in. You were hoping for it, and it's going to shock the hell out of you. One more card, because I'm curious. The Tower card, the Page of Cups, and the Star in the Upright. What is going on? Can I get more information from Virgo? Ace of Wands. You may not, you may be a little afraid of that offer, because you got the Ace of Wands. It wasn't there before. You were not expecting this Ace of Wands, and you may just, it may surprise you so much, whatever someone is saying to you or offering to you. You may turn it down at first. Remember, you're, you're going slow because you had heartbreak. Ending energy is the Queen of Wands. You're getting a lot of people coming towards you. Even in the end, the Queen of Wands is in the upright. She's got her crown on straight. She knows what she wants. She's confident. She's got passion. Good looking. Not necessarily always on the outside, but they, they, they ooze attractiveness in the inside out. So you got this person coming towards you, Queen of Wands, in the upright. As you know, it could be a fire type energy, someone taking on a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But that is the ending energy coming in. And like I said, you're getting a surprise. Surprise! Virgo, surprise! But anyway, I'm done with that. I did want to uh, mention that my surgery was 
canceled. It's going to be rescheduled. I do not know when because of screw ups with uh, communications with the doctors. So I'm going to keep on reading and I'll see you probably before the middle of October. Maybe we can continue this story or get a different energy coming in. So talk to you later, Virgo. Bye.